And a big name in music is coming to Central New York. Paul McCartney will perform at the Carrier Dome. The legendary musician gained fame, of course, with the Beatles and has had much success ever since. Right now, he's crisscrossing the country. A one-on-one -on -one tour, it's called. It started a couple of weeks ago in California. He kicked things off with his first performance of A Hard Day's Night since the Beatles last played it in 1965. CBS 5's Mary is with the live eye at the Carrier Dome right now. Michael, you can certainly feel the excitement over this announcement when you speak with fans. But in fact, super fans, they tell me this is more like a dream come true. Paul Davey is one of those people. He says this concert news is a full circle moment. He's worshipped the Beatles for years and pays tribute to them each year at the Beatle Cues concert. He says he had tickets for the 1993 show Paul McCartney was supposed to play in Syracuse. But unfortunately, that was postponed and was never rescheduled. He can't wait to hear him live. And finally, he says, right here, at home. At the time, I had only seen one Paul McCartney show. Syracuse would have been my second, but since then I've seen 15 in between. So, uh, but the fact that we don't have to get a hotel room or fly somewhere, it, we can af afford to go to a high-quality show like this right in our own backyard and, and just have a great time with so many fans, especially the ones that came to Beetlejuice a couple weeks ago. It's going to be one big party for us. And it gets better. He and his wife actually call him themselves the other Paul and Linda, referring, of course, to Paul McCartney's first wife, Linda. They even had a wedding ceremony in Liverpool, England, which is the birthplace of what many people consider to be the greatest band of all time. Live at the Carrier Dome, I'm Mary Keeler. Tickets for McCartney's performance go on sale Monday to the general public. American Express card holders can buy their seats starting tomorrow. One question lingers, how will all the vehicles coming to the dome be handled? You may recall it was back in 2015, the Billy Joel concert turned into a bit of a traffic nightmare. Some people missed part or even all of the concert trying to get in and park. Syracuse police tell CBS 5 they are working on a plan and convinced that by the time the McCartney show rolls around, everything will go smoothly. The forecast.